So for the past week or so, my city has been in a water crisis. One of our main lines that are available has burst. Because of that, we're not allowed to use much water. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build this 110 gallon rainwater collecting system. Only took me about an hour and a half to build. And you will be able to water your garden for one to two weeks when they are full. What will you need to do this garden project? You'll need two two foot by two foot cement blocks, two 55 gallon rain barrels, four concrete blocks, a downspout extension, a 90 degree PVC elbow, and something to cut your rain barrels with. I'm just using a sawzall. The first thing you wanna do is support your rain barrels. When they are full, them suckers are heavier than the dumps I take. I think it's around 200 pounds. You'll definitely not be able to move it. I'm using two foot by two foot cement blocks at the base. This will disperse the weight of the full rain barrels and help evenly spread it out. Like all good projects, it starts with a foundation. I found with the other rain barrels that I did that if you don't have things level and the underneath to be really solid, when the rain barrels sits on top, it actually will shift something. And I found that the rain barrel can be tilted and it won't fill up the second rain barrel properly. So level everything, make sure it looks real cool. When the bricks are down, Throw your rain barrels on top and give them a test run. Make sure they are level. This will probably be your last chance. With the first rain barrels I built years ago, I only added a spigot at the bottom and got my downspout extension to go into one of the two existing holes at the top. It did the trick, but cleaning the rain barrel is almost impossible and filling up a watering can took far too long. With the last few rain barrels that I've built, I cut the tops off them. This allows me to dip an oversized watering can inside and fill it up within seconds. Plus I can clean it once every few months cause the inside gets dirtier than the dumps I take after eating Chipotle. I just use a sawzall to cut all the way around at the top. After the lids are off, it's a perfect time to clean the inside of your rain barrels. All I'm using to clean is some dishwashing soap and some water. Now, let's get nerdy for a second. Did you know that for every square foot of roof you have, you can collect six gallons of rainwater in an inch of rainfall? Yeah, I was pretty shocked when I heard that as well. If you didn't know that, please like the video. If you did, nerd. The next step is attaching the downspout extension. Previously, I've cut the downspout way too high. After the rain barrel filled up, it tilted forward like my morning wood, not allowing water to flow into it. I hold my downspout extension up to the downspout and I leave two inches inside the rain barrel just in case it moves, or just in case you wanna raise or lower your rain barrel to add another one. To attach the downspout extensions, I use the same sawzall that I used to cut the rain barrel lids. Before you cut the downspout, they're attached by these screws. I use the sawzall to cut the first half. Near the end of the downspouts, it gets shakier than my past relationships. So I use tin snips or metal cutters for the back half and make sure you file everything. It does get sharp. I forgot to mention, I'll try my best to link everything that I've used in this video in the description. I can't promise everything, but I'll try. This downspout attaches really easily. You pretty much slip it over the top. You may have to bend your existing downspouts, but as long as the extension is over top, you'll be fine. There will be no leakage. If you removed a screw at any part of the downspout cutting, use that to attach the downspout extension. The last and final step, which I actually did before, is adding the 90 degree PVC elbow. So pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is uni bits, size of the piece going through. So of these threads here, and I'm gonna put this into the 55 gallon rain barrel, attach this, and then the water as it fills up, if it's full, it's gonna go through here into the second rain barrel. The main thing with this is you don't want to over drill the size of this hole, so take it very slow. I like to keep things simple. I've tried many different variations to rain barrels. This will allow your highest rain barrel to fill up your second rain barrel once it's full. And I sometimes silicone around the edges, kind of like your bathtub, just to make it more watertight. It might not be a work of art, but it works out and you'll be able to collect a ton of rainwater throughout your gardening season. Now that you know exactly how to garden for free, I think this video on when to water is a perfect one to watch next. Check this video out next to find out how. Love you. Bye.